Okay, I just picked up my 30-year-old Macintosh LC from my parents' house. Um, let's power it up, see what happens. Here's my personal Macintosh LC from 1990. Uh, I'm not a stranger to Apple computers. I've had a 2E since 1983, but this was my first uh, Macintosh computer. I uh, purchased it my freshman year of college using my student discount. Um, at the time, it was the lowest cost color Mac. Uh, it has a Motorola 86020 16 megahertz processor, and although it's a 32-bit CPU, it was choked down uh, by a 16-bit data bus, most likely so that it didn't chip into the Macintosh 2's market. Comes stock with uh, 2 megabytes of onboard memory, but I did add an additional 2 megabytes for a whopping uh, 4 megabytes. Um, has a 40 megabyte SCSI drive and a 3.5 inch floppy drive up front. Alright, let's take a look at the back. Uh, in the back we have the power switch, video, uh, it's a DA15, printer, modem, SCSI, an Apple desktop bus, um, audio out, mic in, and a door in, a, in the event a Ethernet, a video card, or some other card is added to the LC. Uh, this is the 12 inch RGB monitor with an odd 512 by 384 pixel resolution. Uh, supported up to 24-bit color. Uh, I gotta admit it was nice to be able to play Tetris in color. Um, I like the 12-inch monitor. It fit the lines of the LC so perfectly. Uh, there was a 13-inch monitor but it was considerably more expensive and it just made no sense to me at the time. Alright, let's give it a go. Let's give it the so-called smoke test. Let's power on the monitor first. Give it a few moments to power up, and then we'll power up the LC. Okay, I hear the fan. I hear a drive going. some beeps. Looks like we gotta do a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna start uh, with the basics. So uh, the PRAM battery in this thing is about 30 years old, so hopefully it's as simple as replacing out that. Um, the PRAM battery is the parameter RAM, and it holds uh, setup and startup information like the date time, startup disk, and display used. Um, oh, I did try to zap the PRAM on the Mac by holding down the command option P and R keys during the startup, and there was no change in behavior. So, let's open her up. Okay, uh, to remove the cover, all you have to do is lift up on these two tabs, rotate it forward, pull it out, and up out of the way. And put the lid in a secure location. The replacement battery is a 3.6 volt lithium half AA uh, PRAM battery. And the location of it is right here on the board. First thing we have to do is uh, remove the cover. So pull out on either end of the cover and then pull up. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the battery was from uh, 1991. And it appears that the positive is on the right side. So let's remove the old battery. Insert the new battery so that the positive is facing towards the right and reattach the cover. Okay, snaps into place. All right, next let's uh, put the top cover back on. So hook the front of the cover back on. 
and push down on the back until it clicks into place. There you go. Okay, and regarding the monitor, it was uh, definitely dead. And rather than dealing with uh, replacing our capacitors and high voltage, uh, what I'm going to try to do is uh, use this adapter. So it's a Macintosh specific 15-pin uh, to VGA HD uh, 15 adapter. So let's give it a try. All right, let's uh, give it a try. Uh, same procedure, let's turn on the monitor. And let's turn on the LC. Video is kind of off. Hey, we got the welcome to Macintosh uh, window. Let's see what happens. Let me go in a little bit closer. I'm super happy. Look to be up and running. All right, looks like uh, got running uh, system seven. Uh, it's seeing all four gigs of RAM, uh, four all four megs of RAM. And uh, let me see if I can get some color going. Sorry, it's been a while since I've uh, dealt with a Mac. So later that day, I went to control panels, monitor settings, and got 16 colors working. Uh, I was disappointed with the video adapter since it defaulted the resolution to 640 by 480 versus the uh, 512 by 384. So that limited my colors, you know, and I couldn't force it to use a lower resolution. Um, I may go with the adapter with the dip switches in the future. Uh, the date needed to be updated and everything else looked good when I went to bed last night. Um, so this morning when I powered up the LSC, um, I get this, you know, unable to find a startup disk. You know, I, I hear the drive spinning, but the heads just weren't moving. Uh, they must be stuck. It's a, it's a pretty common issue for drives of this era. So to summarize, uh, replacing the 30-year-old PRAM va battery resolved the boot up issue. Uh, the video adapter works, uh, provided you run uh, 640 by 480. Um, if your video needs to run 512 by 384 to run uh, more than 16 colors, I'd look elsewhere. 30-year-old um, spinning disc, uh, looks like it uh, just gave up the ghost. So one last update on this video. Uh, the platters on the hard drive were spinning, uh, but the heads were definitely stuck. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't normally condone opening up a hard drive, but you know, I, I didn't really need my econ papers from back in the day and anything critical I would have moved on to my replacement computer 20 plus years ago. So, you know, really didn't have much to lose. Um, first off, this was for my education and not for data recovery, you know, no, I didn't have a proper clean room, but you know, I figured if it fails, so be it. Um, sure enough, the rubber bump stops uh, for the head had turned into like a really sticky uh, tar-like substance. You know, I ended up wrapping the bumpers in electrical tape so that the contact area was no longer sticky. You know, it, it turns out these older hard drives are pretty resilient. You know, after the quick fix, the uh, LC booted up from the hard drive and, you know, uh, quite frankly, I, I don't know how long this fix uh, will last, but you know, um, happy for now. You know, def definitely gives you time to extract uh, data if necessary. All right, take it easy.